What up, my fellow Knicks fans? This is your guy, Marcellus Ease, and don't panic quite yet. Now the Knicks in the next four matchups, got a few games against a bunch of West Coast teams. And there's one date in particular I got circled on my calendar. And that's January 24th, and I'll fall on a Sunday, and that's against the Portland Trailblazers. Now why I'm saying this, because Damian Lillard was talking a little spicy when he was asked about the Knicks, especially about the hot start that they got off to early in the season. You guys check it out. Dave, <laughs> hey, just so you know, my fun is happening on the east in, on the east with the Nets not being able to catch the Knicks. You see what we're doing out here, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. That shit ain't gonna last. That shit ain't gonna oh, last. La, 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 la. <laughs> Damn, Dave, nah, it, that ain't happening. That ain't gonna last all season. You got about another week, nigga. Uh, <laughs> Damn. Hey, not a week. Hey, don't let Julius Randle <laughs> drop 70 on you, nigga. You better watch your mouth. <laughs> Yeah, all right. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Dave, we love you, man. Hey, in 2021 going forward, this type of spicy talk is going to stop, especially coming from teams that are pretty much in the bottom barrel of their conference. Let's make no mistake about it, Dane. It's not ironic that Steph dropped 62 on Portland. That's not surprised by anybody. Yo, why does Steph do that to you? <laughs> <laughs> now, let's look at this. The Portland Trailblazers are at the bottom four teams when it comes to defensive efficiency. And they're also at the bottom five in opponents points per game allowed. This team plays no defense. And it's definitely not a mistake that Stephen Curry got lit when he played against that team, especially when they had Carmelo Anthony and Inez Cantor on the floor that whole fourth quarter. It's not surprising at all that Steph went off. This team barely plays any defense and it's not an issue that started this season. It actually started a couple seasons before. Remember when they got swept by the Pelicans and Drew Holiday went off, busting Dame's and CJ's ass in the playoff. Let's make no mistake about that. I'm not trying to go off on Dame at all. He was one of my favorite players in the bubble, but make no mistake about it. This spicy talk, especially coming from teams that are nowhere near in contention for a championship, that shit's gonna end in 2021 going forward. Not only they have CJ McCollum out for four weeks with a hairline fracture on his left foot, and also Nurkic, he'll be out for eight weeks with a broken wrist. But even before these injuries even happened, the Portland Trailblazers were still at the bottom barrel when it came to defensive efficiency. And also one of the biggest holes on that team is who's the ball distributor coming off the bench. That's a major issue that they have. When you add this in with all the injuries that they already got and just some of the issues they have on the defensive end, it's not a good recipe. And I'm surprised Dame is talking this spicy, man. He got Minnesota Timberwolves, Memphis Grizzlies and San Antonio Spurs problems. Let's not get it fucked up, Dame. With CJ and Nurk out, you're going to have to play Enes Cantor, who's been a bottom barrel center at defense his whole career. You're going to have to play him more minutes. You're going to have to rely on Gary Trent Jr., who's streaky as fuck. And even worse, you potentially have to have Carmelo Anthony and Harry Giles on the floor at the same time. I mean, Julius Randle should be going to work against you guys. You already soft in the middle with Nurk. Now you're going to be extra soft with Cantor. It is what it is. The Knicks got one of the better defenses right now. I mean, look at the final scores of some of the games that we playing. This shit looks like a fucking game from 2004. Final score be 91-85. You haven't seen scores like that in a while. Even if the Blazers didn't have any injuries, that matchup will still be pretty juicy for us. Make no mistake about it. Because last year, this same Portland Trail Blazers team struggled for the whole season and had to battle against the Memphis Grizzlies just to make the playoffs at the very end. And we didn't forget, you guys were so desperate, you even got Carmelo. That's no disrespect to the brother, but damn, that's how desperate you guys were. And even though when he played, you guys still were 10 and six with him on the team, you guys still signed him to a guaranteed contract afterwards. That's how desperate you guys were. And don't think we don't know, you guys were nowhere near of ever beating the Golden State Warriors, even without Kevin Durant because we didn't forget that 2019 Western Conference Finals where the Warriors had a thin bench and just Curry and Thompson pretty much mollywop you and CJ. You guys were never even nowhere near as far as being on the level of Curry and Thompson. I never understand why CJ was shocked when Kevin Durant laughed at him when he told him that on his podcast. Yeah, CJ all confused. Yeah, I mean, yeah, 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 yeah. So it is what it is. I can't wait to see this matchup on Sunday. With that weak interior defense, Julius Randle should be going in against these guys on Sunday. Like Walt Clyde Frazier always says, he should be feasting. 
Not hey, a week. Hey, don't let Julius Randle <laughs> drop 70 on you, nigga. You better watch your mouth. <laughs> but don't mind me. I'm just sick of this spicy talk. It is what it is. Until next time, I say safe. Peace.